Hi everyone, it's Lauren Day Makeup and welcome to my review of Taylor Swift's album Red. This has been such an anticipated album. I reviewed the Speak Now album so you can watch that video. I'll link it in the down box below. And I even had people asking me if I was going to review the Red album before it even came out. So I know you guys have been wanting to see my review of the Red album. So when I first heard that Taylor Swift's album was going to be called Red, I thought, what the F? I didn't understand the name of the title. I thought, oh my god, it's like the weirdest title I've ever heard. But basically in the little booklet for Red, she explains why she called the album Red. So she said... She says, love is a ruthless game unless you play it good and right. And basically this album is falling, it's about falling in and out of love. And she says that this album is about all kinds of love that I recently have fallen in and out of. Love that was treacherous, sad, beautiful and tragic. But most of all, this record is about love that was red. She explains in the title track called Red, which is the second track off the album, that um, when you're in love and it's amazing, then it's described as the colour red. So I got the deluxe edition, which has two CDs. It has the main CD, which has 16 tracks, which is the red album. And then it has a bonus disc, which has six tracks, three new songs and three acoustic demo. demo versions of songs that are on the original album Red. So I'll go through the tracks and what I think about them. Um, so this is the little booklet. The first um, song on the album is State of Grace and this song is great. It's like a, basically a potential single. It has very catchy lyrics. You can sing along really easily. I could sing along to this song within the second or third listen of the album so I really like State of Grace. Red, I first didn't like this song. She actually previewed this song before she released the album and I didn't really like it. Uh, however, after listening to the album for a few times, this um, song has definitely grown on me. So I really like Red now. Treacherous is actually another song that I really like. I know a lot of people said that they don't like Treacherous, but I really like it and I think it definitely has single potential. Um, I really like Treacherous because it has a very different sound. It's very different sounding to any other songs on the album. I really love the picture for Treacherous as well. I Knew What You Were Trouble is classic Taylor Swift song. It's probably the most fun song on the album. Um, I really like this song. I really like the chorus. Um, it's a really upbeat song. I just... This song is really great and when you listen to it you'll understand why. All Too Well um, has very strong guitar sounds on this song. It reminds me of Back to December. I really liked Back to December and this definitely reminds me of Back to December. Um, so if you liked that song you'll definitely like this one as well. It has a cute little story behind it. I love Taylor Swift songs when she tells a story. They're probably my favourite so I really like All Too Well. 22. 22 is probably... The most cutest song on the album it's really cute um it's um kind of like her her voice is very different in this song it's kind of like her voice sounds a little bit like better than revenge but it has a cute little chorus like 22 ooh, ooh, 22 it's really cute so once you first listen to the album you'll really like remember that song even after the first listen and you'll be able to like sing along I Almost Do. I Almost Do is really nice. This song reminds me of her previous albums. It tells a story. Um, I really like this song. It, I could see this song to be in a movie. Like, that's the kind of sound of this song. It's the uh, first single from the album, which is We Are Never Getting Back Together. You've heard this song on the radio. It's definitely a, a classic radio song. I don't like it at all. I don't like the video. The video when I saw the video, I was like, oh my god, Taylor Swift's return. And then it's like, what the F? I don't get the video. I think it's really weird. I just kind of like skipped this song. It was co-written by Max Martin, which he writes a lot. Of, he used to write a lot of the Backstreet Boys songs. Um, I just There's just something about We Are Never Getting Back Together that I just don't like. Uh, the next song is Stay, Stay, Stay. I'm going to tell you the track number. It's number nine. This is a skipper. So you have to skip this song. It's honestly the worst Taylor Swift song I've ever heard. Stay, Stay, Stay. It's so annoying. The lyrics are annoying. The music is annoying. Everything about this song is totally annoying. So that's all I'm going to say. Um, the last time is the 10th track on the album. This is a duet with the dude from Snow Patrol. I don't really like this song either. I think it doesn't belong on the album. It belongs on a Snow Patrol album. It doesn't sound anything like Taylor Swift and I think his voice really overpowers her and it just doesn't belong on the album. It belongs on a Snow Patrol album. Holy Ground is a really nice song. I love this picture. It kind of like reminds me of Twilight. 
Um, it's really nice. Holy Ground is a great song. It's actually totally different from the last time, so it kind of breaks up the album um, after um, last time finishes, this song starts. It's upbeat. You can sing along to the lyrics. The lyrics are very clear and the beat is very strong. It's very old school kind of country Taylor Swift. So if you like her previous albums, you'll really like that song. Sad. Um, beautiful tragic I really love this one um, it's like about a love affair um, it's really awesome it, it has no definite chorus so most songs like they speed up the melody or the volume of the music in the chorus um, but this really kind of just is one smooth song um, there's no real definite chorus um, definition between the chorus and the um, verses um, I really like it it's probably the slowest ballad on the album but I really love these little pictures oh my god so gorgeous um, so I really love the lyrics to that song it's just totally different really different perspective um, on any kind of other Taylor Swift song that's ever been written the Lucky One is the next song on the album. Um, the Lucky One is cute. It's not really that memorable. It's very catchy, very catchy song. You can sing along. It's kind of like a bit folky um, music. Everything Has Changed is one of the best albums, best songs on the album. I love this picture. Oh my God, how good is that picture? Um, I love that picture and it is a um, duet. It's featuring Ed Sharan and I'd never heard of him before but his voice really enhances the song it just complements Taylor Swift he's not overpowering this song could be an awesome single and make a great video um, so I really love that song everything has changed probably one of the best um, tracks on the album the next song is Starlight I really love Starlight it's written by um, Taylor Swift by herself um, it's the most upbeat song on the album it's very positive it's about like dancing or going to a dance and it truly like tells a story like a classic Taylor Swift song does it tells a cute little story of a particular you know um, event um, it has cute quirky lyrics I just really love Starlight um, I don't think the picture really matches the song but it's um, a great little song Begin Again is the last song on the album, song 16, and um, this is a great, great picture to describe the song as well. This is a, probably a very slow, kind of ballady type song. Um, it is a great song to end the album with. It actually is a new music video, and um, she's in Paris, and she looks gorgeous. Even though I don't, I, I don't like Taylor Swift's straight hair with the bangs, this ashy blonde colour. I really love her, like, classic blonde curly hair with, like, you know, the teardrops on my guitar kind of curls like they're the curls that I like for Taylor Swift so this is like a completely different direction that she's gone in even with her hair I mean like look how dark her hair is there like it's just insanely new look for Taylor Swift you know this dark hair um straight hair you know and she's like kind of taken away from that country bumpkin-y like uh, I'm a little um, you know young girl and I'm singing with my guitar like she's completely different now so um, they're the 16 tracks on the album I really like them but I would highly recommend that you get the bonus um, you know the deluxe edition with the bonus CD because the best Taylor Swift song from Red is the moment I knew and it's on the on the bonus um, edition so you've got to get it it is about her birthday party and like the only person she wanted to come to her birthday party was her boyfriend and he was like the only person who didn't show up and Oh my god, it's the best song. It's seriously, you know how much I love Enchanted from Speak Now? Oh my god, I'm just in love with this song the moment I knew. It's like my new Enchanted. Um, so I love that song. Also, there's um, two other tracks on the um, deluxe bonus edition. Um, come back here, um, be here, and Girl at Home. I don't really care for those songs. And then there's three extra versions of the first three songs on the album, Treacherous, Red, and State of Grace acoustic version of State of Grace and the demo or um, like original demo recording of Treacherous and Red. The last three songs I don't care for, I just don't listen to them, but I'm not really an acoustic girl. So I don't generally like those. But overall, the Red album is amazing. Um, you know, I was so disappointed when I first bought the album and I, and she's like, I had a completely different sound. And I was actually going to review the album, you know, straight away when I first got it. So I could be one of the first people to review it on YouTube or whatever. But I've decided that I wanted to listen to the album for a few weeks and then give you my review because my um, opinion on the album has changed. Um, it says 22 brand new songs. Uh, that's a lie. Um, anyway, I really like Red. Um... If you're not a Taylor Swift fan, you may not like this album, but now that it's a new sound, 
you know, you may like the album. Um, I think overall Taylor Swift fans have been embracing this new album. It's very kind of tween, it's for, it's for the tweens. I feel like it's a very kind of young sound overall to the album, but well done Taylor Swift, great album. Um, I really like that you had red lipstick on and all the little pictures inside the album. And you know, you give us the lyrics every time you give us the lyrics. And the lyrics always have those hidden messages um, with the capital letters. So that I just really love that. You really, you know, go out of your way and give the fans the lyrics. And you know, you always present us with an amazing album. And overall, I do like the Red album. It's a really great album. So if you have the chance to go pick it up, I would highly recommend it. And um, I hope you guys liked my review of Red. Um, and stay tuned if you want to see more CD reviews. I'll be reviewing Christina Aguilera's Lotus. So excited! It's like a week to go or less than a week to go. So I'm so, so excited about that. Um, check out my other CD reviews on my channel. There's like a whole playlist. And um, I'll link the um, Speak Now review that I did also of Taylor Swift in the down bar below. But thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.